You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. These items were provided by Imperial Toys for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and check it out. It is Avengers time with my Power Poppers. Both of these were actually given to us by Imperial Toys to check out, so thanks to them. It's always nice to get stuff to check out. And uh, let's see, so we have Iron Man. Let me just give Iron Man a quick spin in his little plastic tube. And then Captain America. It says, drop to pop six feet high. Hmm, looks interesting. Let's see. Nothing on the bottom. Looks like it says, power poppers on the top in the plastic. Kind of hard to see there, but it's there. Let me check one of these out here. Looks like I need to remove this bottom plastic sleeve. It's almost like a snack tin is what it looks like when you get this plastic off, which I will do. Which means I'm going to lose the colorful graphic, unless I maybe peel this around. Here's what I'm doing. I'm taking this here and peeling this around. Maybe I can save the rest of the label. There we go. Yeah, it's like a can. And, okay, then this piece wants to come out. And there's a plastic insert that's getting caught up on the... Oh, it's actually taped in here. Let me give us a little bit more room here so we can work on this a little bit. I have a pair of scissors here. Sometimes I use scissors. Okay. But once you get this piece out. Ooh, my popper flew with it. Okay, there he is. All right. I did it. So here's the base. It says Iron Man. Very cool. And then this piece, ooh, little instruction sheet. His little cardboard cut out there. And then this is taped on. Okay, so let me get that out of there. All right, so I think you could just stand them like that for a display or like that if you want. That's pretty cool. Now let me get the, oh, I guess it won't do that. All right, and then let me get my second one out. But I'm going to put the instructions here for you to look at. Okay, so it's a one-side instruction sheet. All right, lots going on there. So now I know how to get into that one. So this one should be much easier. going to try to save my plastic as well. My ultimate goal was to keep it so that this stayed on the bottom. And I think I can do that with this one too. All right, here we go. Nice, that was a nice rip. And I did this. And there was two pieces of tape around this edge. Once I got through those, I was in, right? See if this one stays in. Okay, so that was connected to that. And then he should just slide out now. Take the tape off of him. It's nice, even though they tape it, it doesn't affect this. This is, let me just squish him. So it's a hard foam, is what that is like. Probably because it's popping at speeds, great speeds. You don't want to be near it or around it near your face. Let's just see. Maybe there's some warnings. Launching instructions. There's some tricks. Instead of simply dropping, use a bit of force downward for added bonus so you can kind of speed up the process. See how low you can drop your popper and still have him pop? Drop your popper at a slight angle to see him flip in the air. Drop your popper onto a slanted surface and see him soar across the room. Set up a target and try to hit it. Ooh. To load without base, press launch your foot using two fingers without pressing button until it locks. Okay, so there's some tricks there. All right, so let's just move this bag down now so we can look at them out of the plastic. They look pretty cool, don't they? Get all the stuff out of the way. So use this to push it down. Ooh. So he is locked. Okay, so you can't really do it on the table. I was just testing it and now you put it back there. So it must be the two fingers. We'll have to test that theory. Now it says it goes up to six feet, but I'm not sure. Here, let me measure something here. 
Okay, I got a tape measure, a real tape measure. Okay, to my ceiling is about four feet, three inches, okay? Now there's lights above me, so I'm hoping I don't hit them. Let me bring this back. I'll have to do this with some camera adjustments, but let's just do the initial drop from three inches away from a camera, and we'll see, I mean a light, here we go. Oh, okay, so there you go, that hit my light. That scared me a little, here we go. Ooh, missed it. Ooh, missed it. Sorry, buddy. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Definitely hit my ceiling both times. Let me see if I can get a better perspective here and we'll do it again. All right, so camera is much higher. I think it was about this level before. Now it's up at least two and a half to three feet. I want to show you, so it's this little pin that makes him pop. And then the two fingers they said you can use, you just do that. And then it allows him to activate instead of using the base. So if you don't have the base, you can do that. It does take a little force. Now, I move my light out of the way, so now I'm straight to the ceiling. So let's just see. And you gotta be straight, because if you hit him at an angle, he's not gonna go. So I'm kind of looking up at my camera and down. Sometimes I might miss it. Here we go. Three inches, which isn't too high. Whoa, did you see that? He flipped on the bounce and popped. Let's see, here we go. Oh yeah. It would be easy, I think, to launch this at something. Here we go. Oh, missed again. Ah, he's giving me a hard time, huh? There we go. What I need to do is be able to angle it this way. So I need to hit something here, and then we can see it shoot that direction. So I need to kind of, whoa. All right, so bouncing is good. Let me see if I can put something here now on an angle, like they said, slant it on an angle and then shoot him that way. All right, so I've brought in my one of my trusty cutting boards that I don't use that often, but it's a nice hard surface. Let me get them ready. Now my goal is to try to get them as straight this way as possible so you could see them. So you have to hit this angle just right. Here, nothing. Here, pops. So multiple things now. I'm trying to hold this and keep this steady and then hitting here. So let's give this one a shot. Well, that was not right. Didn't let go soon enough. There you go. I think it would shoot pretty far. At least six feet when you force it to, to shoot out. Let's see. Let's try my Captain America. See, my board is right up here. Missed him. There you go. All right. So, yes, with a little practice, I think you can aim somewhat hitting because it does take a little bit. You have to make sure you hit it just right. Just right on there. And then it pops. All right, let me come right back here and we'll wrap it up. All right, well, as I was adjusting my camera, I thought, hmm, that's an interesting tight shot. Let's see if I can get it to land here, hit, and let's see if I can slow down the video. So here we go. It might, might be blurry later. We'll see. Either way, I'll keep it in, blurry or not. Here we go. Ooh, missed. You know what I noticed, too? I've been doing it always with my left hand. I wonder if I'm any better because I'm right-handed to keep it straight. There you go. Nice. And I caught that one. Okay, here we go. All right. Have to get that one. Okay. I played, I had fun, I think they're pretty cool. That would be an awesome stocking stuffer, would that not, to get those and just start shooting them around? So which do you like better? You like them both? You Captain America fan or Iron Man fan? Or who is your favorite Avenger? And as always, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you did. And much appreciated for everybody watching our videos and supporting us. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here.
Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.